So you may have heard recently that Nvidia released a new plugin called RTX Voice, which uses their GPUs and some AI capabilities to help remove background noise. Now for someone who sits in a room that is played by background noise, let me give you some context. On that wall over there, I have a bathroom and you can hear the sink and toilet going off every time that someone uses it. Behind me, I have a window, which I have to open due to how warm this room gets at times. And because the window is open, I can hear my parents and neighbors yelling and screaming all the time when they're talking to each other. It's so bad that you can probably hear it from like a hundred meter away. On top of that, I have a flight path to a local regional airport where a lot of pilots are doing the training. So I have a lot of planes coming in on base and final approach. So it's always going off every few minutes, which is very annoying. Of course, this doesn't, doesn't sound good when you're doing a broadcast. So I figured I'll try out RTX voice and see how good it works. In short, it works very, very well. Actually, right now, you're hearing my voice being processed by RTX voice. But I figured you probably want to look at some comparisons. So I've set up some environments to see if it actually works through Streamlabs, but first setting up RTX voice. Now, this is actually a pretty easy process. All you need to do is go to the NVIDIA website, download the RTX voice installer, install it, and turn it on. From there, you just select the input device, which is your microphone, and to turn on the background noise suppression. You can also do this for the output device, such as your speakers, but keep in mind that this does use more of your GPU power. As well, NVIDIA claims that the background noise from your keyboard can be removed by this function. So I'm gonna try that and see if that actually does work. Anyways, without further ado, here are the results. This is the sound of the Razer Siren X mic going through Audacity with no filtering at all. And right now, I'm gonna type a few things on my keyboard to see if it does pick up that noise. And so far, I believe it is picking up every single little noise that I'm making right now on this keyboard. This is the sound of the Razer Siren X going through RTX voice to Audacity. Right now, I do have some background noise in the back and I'm gonna type a few things on my keyboard and see if it does pick up any of the key presses. And if I'm correct, none of these key presses or most of these key presses should be suppressed. Now for the next part of the test, I'm gonna be using this random video of some background noise from the coffee shop and see how RTX voice can actually eliminate the noises coming from this phone. This is my voice on the Razer Siren X from the mic straight to Audacity. Now I'm gonna turn on the background noise. And probably as expected, the mic is picking up every little thing from this video. And I'm gonna type something on the keyboard just to add into the voice. Yep, probably sounds really terrible right now. This is the sound of my voice going through the RTX voice plugin straight to Audacity from the Razer Siren X mic. Now, I'll turn on some background noise. And along as well as that, I might as well type something on my keyboard. This is a test of the RTX voice function from NVIDIA. And so far, it is going through with flying colors. Please ignore the typos. Now, when it comes to the GPU utilization, I couldn't find any kind of major performance hit from using this RTX voice plugin. Now, keep in mind, I am not a benchmarker like Gamer Nexus or any other YouTuber, but so far, it seems that my GPU is now hovering at the 4% mark in Task Manager. So overall, I'm extremely impressed with how well NVIDIA's RTX voice function actually works. Even though it's a beta program, it is working really well and I'm probably gonna be using this for here on out for my streams and videos. It's not perfect, it's still able to pick up some of the noises from the keyboard, normally during the silence. When I'm not talking at all, it is able to pick up maybe a really dull thud of one of the keys. But overall, for the suppression, it's extremely impressive. Now keep in mind, you do need a GeForce RTX graphics card for this function to work. But people have somehow got this working on the older GeForce cards, such as the 9, 10, and the 16 series of cards. And even older than that, apparently, but with varying results. In the long term, I hope that NVIDIA can improve this plugin even more, removing more background noise, and even able to remove some of the issues with the silence. Anyways, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to, and I'm really looking forward to making more videos for you in the future. Thank you.